Good morning once again and thank you for staying tuned to Sunrise at Sea here on CTV. Today is Friday the 22nd of July 2022. We're almost at the end of the month of July. We only have about eight days. Very excited. Um, <laughs> and yes, being a Friday, Friday comes with a lot of excitement and definitely the conversation that we are carrying today comes with excitement. We are talking about entertainment and in particular artists performing in school, secular artists. Is that the word? It should be the word. Joining me today is Priva Elivers. Good morning, Priva. Good morning. Oh, we missed the like ladies today. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, we did miss the ladies today, but definitely we have an amazing, an amazing conversation right here for you. And we did post it on our socials, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at CTV Uganda, artists performing in school. Now, this comes at a time when um, Honorable or oh, Mrs. Sarah Opendi, and that is the Minister of... Uh, State Minister for Mineral Development came on to say that artists performing in school is obscene and seductive in nature. Now this time, this, it comes at a time when Shiba Karunji was actually performing uh, for students of Seta High School. Of course, as usual, she was just skimply. I mean, that is her mode of, of, of dressing or that is her kind of dress code every other day. So it rubbed off uh, Sarah Opendi in a, in a bad way. Yeah. That's what I should say, that she actually had to take to the floor of parliament and present it. Now, Sarah Opendi is also t the Toro Woman Member of Parliament and the Chairperson of Uganda Women, Women Parliamentary Association. Now, this is what she had to say. She asked government to ban all musicians from holding concerts in schools due to their indecent dressing, obscene and seductive dances. Now, Sarah Opendi informed parliament that on many occasions, musicians who perform in schools dress poorly, with, which affects the mental health of students, and many of them have learned bad behaviors from these concerts. These are her words. Now, she wondered whether the Ministry of Education has any guidelines governing the conduct of concerts sets in schools as far as we know there are no guidelines at the moment in mm -hmm. regard to that and she also said that if there's any place in those musicians who have breached those guidelines should they be penalized now the state minister in charge of primary education joyce moriku kaduchu told parliament that there are guidelines governing all musical concerts and all dances and now this is general like when the music concerts or you know are shows in the country there are guidelines that govern them however specifically there are no guidelines that govern uh, concerts when it comes to schools and she also added that schools are hes hesitant to inf enforce them, noting that as a ministry they have started pushing, or rather punishing, all the schools which fail to enforce those guidelines. Now she admitted that it is true that students have lost their morals and it's now the duty of parents and teachers to enforce those morals among children in, sc in schools. Now the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, uh, Hon Right Honorable Thomas Tayawa, asked the Ministry of Education to come up and do something to avoid increasing immorality among students in school. So before we go any further, Priva Elibas, what is your take on, you know, uh, Honorable Sarah Opendi's you know, uh, remarks, uh, remarks as a mother? This. Well, I know it comes from as a, a place mother? of, you know, <laughs> you think she addressed them as a mother? Oh, yes, she said, most importantly, like, as a mother, she's concerned that uh, artists go to these schools and dance almost, you know, half naked in front of, you know, these uh, kids and they're actually influencing them the wrong way. You know, so what I have to say about artists, you know, are performing in in schools, they mm. should do away with it. Personally, I was in a school, I was in a girls' school for six years. Yeah, mm. six years, we never had any artists come mm. and perform for us. Okay. We never had any outsiders just coming and dressing skimply and performing. Now I know that was different for other schools. Like, you know, people would come in and perform for students and all that. It's part of entertainment. But the entertainment that I had back in school was watching TV on weekends. Drama club. Not even really drama club. Like <laughs> we had, club. we had, um, <laughs> <laughs> we used to call it the ODH. Yeah. So we'd sit in the ODH and, you know, watch TV, watch series, play some music. The girls are dancing. The girls are vibing. Like, it's, it's, it's a good environment. Mm -hmm. You know, at the end of the day, for me, being at school requires you to go purposely to study. Mm. It's not about entertainment. Now, I'm not saying dancing should be banned. You mm -hmm. can dance, but that's why we have uh, things like music, dance, and drama yes. in school. MDD. And yes, MDD. And actually, back in my high school, they used to organize MDD. It would take almost like um, a, a month of preparation. Like yes. every after school, you know, you, com you converge as house members of your particular house and then, you know, w work through what you're 
trying to present on the final day of the MDD. Yes. And we occupied our time constructively. We never died because we didn't have Shiba Karunji come <laughs> and no dance for us. <laughs> yes, we didn't die. Uh -huh. And here we are. And it, it's so funny that the things these uh, children crave for so bad is that when they get to the outside world and they're done with high school, they don't even go for these concerts. They mm -hmm. don't even go to these clubs where these uh, artists are performing. So for me, it's more, I, I totally agree with what Sarah Openly said. Let's protect our children. Okay, while I might agree with you when it comes to protecting children, anyway, let me first bring in what uh, the comment that Shiba Karunji made. She said that it's not her role or obligation to groom anyone's child. Her yes, role sir. is entertainment or entertaining people. If she is, you know, booked for a show, it doesn't matter whether it's a school, it doesn't matter whether it's a club, she dresses the way that she dresses. And I think even in the recent past, we have seen when she's been criticized on how she, on her dress code, how seductive it is, and, you know, the other day we had the conversation of sexual harassment and how that could you know um, cause sexual harassment and what she said is she's an artist and she is um, she has a right to dress the way that she does Beyonce dresses you know skimply or whatever when she's performing we haven't seen at her a girl's school at an that. elementary but school thing. um the fact that she says it's not her obligation <laughs> it is not her part to groom anyone's child that this is entirely the role of parents to groom their children or even the teachers back at school what would you think about what she said that's one of the most uh, reckless statements i've ever heard from someone really yes you see just being a musician is not about you just dressing skimply and putting out content and creating music mm -hmm. you are somehow a, a strong pillar in society if that makes sense you shouldn't. You should not look at, at the benefits of being an artist, as you know, you being able to get passes here and there. You know, uh, get worked on faster than the other he, people. Let's say maybe you've walked into like a ministry and maybe you want to work on your passport and stuff like that, and yeah. they work on you fast. Those are not the only privileges you get as a what? As, as an, an artist. artist, you also have a role to play. That was very reckless coming from Shiba Karunji <laughs> because <laughs> at the end of the day, people look up to these people. You know, as much as we don't want to admit it, people look up to people like um, Shiba Karunji. You know, they inspire them. So when when she comes uh, when she comes on board and says, uh, she it's not her responsibilities for the parents. That's crazy. I can understand the primary responsibility of taking care of our children falls back with the parents, but then it's a collective effort. You have the secondary role of you know ensuring that we have right thinking members in society. What does it cost Shiba Karunji to dress decently and go and perform in school if, 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 if it's meant to be like that? Because you see, the funny thing is that if they said, okay, you know what, Shiba Karunji, you're going to perform at the end of your party for maybe, let's say, a certain bank or a certain law firm or even maybe performing for government officials, she's mm -hmm. not going to come dressed skimply. I'll tell she's you something. Probably, wait, mm -hmm. she's probably going to ask, how should I dress? What's the appropriate... I don't think she would wait. ask. How, what's the appropriate, um, the appropriate way, the, the appropriate way I should be um, dressed, dressed in? I've I actually had, uh, I, I have information, let me just put it that, we have information that uh, one time Cindy Sanyu was going to perform for the Kabaka of, uh, of Buganda. And she had to ask, should I come dressed in my They told her dress whichever way that you want to dress. Can I finish? Mm -hmm. They said, uh, come dress, uh, what way should I dress? And they were like, you know, yes, you can come dressed the way that, you know, you want to be dressed. But even then, she did not come on, on, on stage with patra shorts or a fish <laughs> stockings. Shirt. And, you know, that's what, uh, uh, surprising, that's what <clears throat> musicians in Uganda wear. So she did not come dressed in that. So for me, it's more of like, do what is appropriate for the right kind of audience. If you're going to perform for kids, come dressed in your jeans, you won't die. Come dressed in your appropriate top, you will not die. You will perform. Mm -hmm. It will not take away from your artistry. It will not take away from your art. It will not take away from your craft. So well, you have the responsibility, actually, to, to care about how uh, our, our students... Mm. You when know. you say that, I think for the part of Cindy and why she eventually, even when they told her, come dress the whichever way you want, why she resorted to, you know, being decent for her to perform for the Kabaka, it's because there's a time when she went uh, for... She was performing at a wedding and she was wearing biker shorts and a tee and a jacket. And everyone was talking about how disrespectful she, how disrespectful can she be to show up for someone's wedding dressed that way. Let's go to the question of, at the end of the day, if you have invited an artist, is it about the art or you actually care about their dress? What if they, I mean, you've paid them to perform, not to come dressed a certain way. Is, is, it, is it the art that you're interested in? Is it the dress code that you're interested in? Aggie. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's a question. It's a question. <laughs> uh, you cannot separate the art from the person. You come as a package, you know. Mm -hmm. You come as a package, but then still, I will still insist it does not take away from your artistry. It doesn't take away from your craft if you come dressed appropriately for the occasion. Come on, come on, Aggie. Now, let me, let me, let me ask <coughs> something, yes? You've been called to maybe, let's say, have a meeting in the State House. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you going to go dressed in your jeans or as a, a, a thing, a, a dress that is as short as, a, as you know, like up here? Mm -hmm. You know, would you wear that? You're going to think about your outfit. You're going to put in a lot of thought. You're like, no, my dress code has to matter. First of all, I'm going to meet important people. I'm meeting these people in the state house. I have mm -hmm. to appear presentable. They have to put some respect on my name. Mm. And, but, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. But when you talk about, okay, that's okay. But you see, uh, Honorable Saro Pendi is like saying, these artists who go dressed a certain way, well, I'll just, let me talk about Winnie Nwaji, the way she's always dressed at, you know, Fire Smart Baby. And, you know, uh, she's a good friend to Smarkis and she does perform, you know, that side. And the one thing I'll tell you is actually these boys' schools are always interested. And I don't know whether they even tell these artists to come dressed a certain way because they want them to appear seductive. They want, you know, all, all this um, hard adrenaline that comes with. <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> but anyway so for sarah Pendy to say that they are let me put it in the layman's language like some uh, bad manners mm. teaching bad manners to their to children, children. Or, i'll tell you something that in this era um i went to school with sarah Pendy's daughter mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are children who have been exposed, uh, exposed to iPads, who have been exposed to television, who have been exposed to all these shows, kind of, even yeah, beyond the performing and all these artists dressed skimply. They, they're exposed to so many obscene things off the internet. So you cannot entirely say that because Shiba Karunji or Winnie Nwaji showed up dressed a certain way, that now your children are going to start thinking, oh, I should be dressing this way, or, you know, getting all this, um, I don't know, bad, man, bad manners, whatever she called it. Because... If it's not Shiba Karunji, they'll see it off the internet and they'll do it. The other day there were Luviri SS students, yes, mm -hmm. who were mm -hmm. dancing obscenely in a bus. Is it because they, they saw Shiba Karunji doing that? Do you, is that the reason why they did that? Definitely not. So for me, it's not entirely, well, well, well. Let it be upon uh, schools, um, uh, administrations to put up guidelines on how, you know, um, artists should, uh, should show up. But if the schools are actually okay with it, I'm not... I'm sorry, I'm not really going on the other end. But if schools haven't, you know, come on to condemn artists showing up a certain way, then it's not it's not in the place for you know. A How about a we coexist? How about we coexist? Yes, but in a way where we all respect uh, people's. How would I call it? But they're not complaining. That's the thing. People are not complaining. Well, you see, people may not be complaining, but at the end of the day, what I know times have changed, Agi. Yes, times mm -hmm. have changed. Things that used to be be be. Things that we used to consume back as, you know, young people back in the day. Th times have changed. We, we, back in the day, we didn't have social media. We didn't have uh, Facebook or Instagram or yes. Snapchat or YouTube that you just, you know, type in a song and you just see it. Mm. But I'll still insist, Agi, the mantle to have right-thinking members of society, especially our youth, lies with everyone. As long as you're an adult, as long as you know you're... Because now, wh where does that leave us? They're complaining. The kids are... Uh, are being influenced badly even you as an artist instead of saying you know what i actually agree these are children let's dress decently let's work on that as an industry let's find a way of you know having people respect our profession uh, we're not saying don't come and you know uh, and perform your songs first of all the songs are actually also obscene where are you going oh yeah let's talk about the songs where I mean, are you going and you're singing to people uh, when you know the farmer huh? how but does that help do you know, I didn't know what that song means. I didn't know, to be honest. I think it was like yesterday when I got to know the meaning when of you that song. Sat when you sat down started, No, no, when people were actually talking about how you can show up to a school and you're singing all these obscene, you know, songs. And the sad thing is you find these kids in high school actually know the meaning even when adults, some of the adults do not know. That shows you that these children are actually invested. It's not even about the artists. They are invested in the obscenity. Yes. So does it come back to the parents back at home? Does it come back to to the school administration. No, I'll tell you themselves. where I went to school. <laughs> yes. We used to have um, dances. We used to call them wrecks every Saturday. Yeah? And it was a girls' school. But, I mean, people used to be dancing obscenely. Obscenely. Yes, because why? Because they watch these music videos back from home before they come to school. And no one was going to be there, you know, to police everyone and say, don't dance like this. People were twerking. But now let me ask, let me ask you. Uh, Did they see that, you know, game. from an artist uh, performing <laughs> at school? No. Let me, let me, let me say this. Let me, I'm, not, I'm not even going to ask you. I'm, I'm just going to say this. At the mm. end of the day, as an artist, yes, you cannot 
add more fire no no add more fire fuel, fuel to, to the fire, fire. yes mm -hmm. first of all it's already lit like you said it's already lit it's already burning <laughs> kids are already you know uh getting all these things from different sources because i mean we've been exposed to the internet and so forth and so forth but then mm. are you also going to add fuel to the fire as as an artist as a right thinking member of society mm. how about you know you quell it how about you try and you know minimize the the, the kind of repercussions that your performance is going to have when you go to a certain school and you perform for those kids. Mm. First of all, we have to admit that kids are the most curious people That's in, our, in our world. And especially that time where you've hit puberty, your doses is kicking in, you're curious, you want, to find about, you want to find out about each and everything. So for me, it's more of like, come on, yes, you're an artist, you're going to perform. But maybe your choice of songs is not right for the particular audience you want to um, uh, entertain. Or just do the right thing. But look at this. I think by the time these, um, whether students, whether management invites these artists, they actually know the kind of music these people do. They know that it's obscene, maybe, but they still go ahead to invite them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you cannot put that on the artist. Maybe you put it on the, on, on, the, on the management, because look at this. There are so many gospel artists. You can invite Levickson. You can invite, I don't know, so many other you know, artists that, that sing the music that, um, that is not obscene. So by the time you invite Shiba Karunji, you know the music that she does. But how about it? How about instead of you know, focusing on uh, musicians performing in schools, how about we substitute that dancing, that uh, erratic behavior, that people that sorry that students are being exposed to how about we turn that into actively engaging the students in school for music dance and drama competitions like I mentioned earlier on mm. it's also a, it's also a way of you know uh, keeping fit your dancing your entire you're in tune with your culture because I remember back in my high school MDD used to cover about like almost uh, how many tribes in Uganda because we would have mm. dances from uh, the western we would have dances from Buganda we would have yes. dances from Acholi we would have dances from uh, like Banyaranda like it was everywhere like yes. cultures coming together and you know it's constructive time mm. cons like you're, cons you're consuming your time in the right way you're consuming mm. your time when first of all you're enjoying you're having fun ah. but you know <laughs> Yes, yes. I used to I'm sorry that I used to find those things boring. But anyway, we do have a video of Shiba Karunji and Christo Panda actually performing. So let's take a look at that video and we'll be back with more reactions. <laughs> Well, that is one of the videos of Shiba Karunji actually performing to students that right now has, you know, caused a lot of, you know, eyebrows and, you know, um, bringing out uh, Honorable Sarah of Pendi to actually say that artists are obscene in their performances and how they dress. So, Priva Elivers, <laughs> watching that video, what would you have to say about it? Oh, my God, it gave me chills. It gave me chills. I was <laughs> like, what? 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 what what exactly about it the dress code or you know the dance move i actually feel like i actually don't even have a problem about the dress code for that i'll give her a plus it's not indecent but exactly. for an artist mm -hmm. that can pass we can give her a pass mm -hmm. but the dance moves why are you smacking your buttocks in front of young children why are you dabbing another man in front of you know mm -hmm. young children what are they supposed to pick out of that this, is, this, this is my very exact same issue with you know uh, artists performing in schools mm. and the choice of song and the, uh, as for the choice of songs you can you can you can see you can see what was being but you see these ladies and and guys i'm sorry these kids actually know these songs off head off head shiba did not tell them you know this is this and this and teach them the lyrics they probably learned that from back at home so for me as a wrap of the conversation i don't want us to entirely 
everybody blame the artists. Let us put the blame on the school management who actually invite these artists and do not put up the guidelines of how you should show up, you know, dressed. I mean, they know they are kids, so they should be in position to put up those guidelines. I think the artists can actually comply if they are told what to do. I feel like we all have a role to play in society and in helping our kids become, you know, better members in society. You as a parent, you as teachers, you as an artist and individuals themselves, students themselves, they have a role to play for yeah. themselves. Because like I told you, <laughs> we never had musicians back in high school and not high, yes, high school and we never died. Here we are. And we don't even go for these concerts. Well, Priva just said she did not die. Well, 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 there's still other people who love the concerts. But I think that if they are respectful enough, then that, that should be okay. We can't deprive our children, our children, from having the entertainment that they want to. Anyway, that is all we had for you on this segment of our views. Remember to connect with us on our socials, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Continue the conversation in regard to artists and their performances in schools, their dress code, their choice of songs, and everything around it. Like I said, that is all we had for you. Keep watching Sunrise at Sea and don't blink. Well, unfortunately, we've come to the end of our episode of Sunrise this uh, morning. Of course, we'll be back next Monday, uh, 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Usual suspects. And today, of course, I've been joined by Agi Uwase. We had so many interesting conversations from the NRM and the DP uh, cooperation argument to now finally talking about artists and uh, them performing in schools. At the end of the day, like I said, I'll re-echo it. We all have a role to play as, you know, parents, students themselves, teachers, and of course, artists. We all have a role to play. Well, the conversation continues on our social media platforms. And also do not forget, we do stream every single day on our website at www.ctv.co.ug. My name is Priva Elibaz. Have yourselves a wonderful weekend.